In the winters, it can get down to freezing. We put the glue by the fireplace in the morning to warm it up. 50 degrees is the threshold for it turning to chalk and then our cabinet's falling apart. It's also pretty uncomfortable working <laughs> with uh, ice cold tools and whatnot in the winter time. Once it's 60 degrees outside at least and 60 degrees in the shop, then we can open the doors up and start let the sun shine in. Okay, so we're gonna put the cookbook on the far right, and it'll have a same size drawer in the middle. First thing we do is we go to their house, and we take the type measurements. We measure where each cabinet is going. Then we bring that back to the shop. We'll start pulling out our tapes and our pencils, and we start drawing and sketching and communicating back and forth. She's got one of those heavy-duty kitchen aids, so okay. we're gonna make it look like three equal openings. All right but we're gonna have to have a special overlay on that side. Okay. So that heavy duty mixer can actually swing out. Then we take it to basically a long stick and we lay all these measurements down on this stick. Everything's actual size, plan view and elevations. And we call that the layout rod. 87 and she wanted her um, Cookbook. All right, okay. Far well, right, so we put it right there. We got uh, 27 5 8. Perfect. And then she went in a bank of drawers, and that's 24 and 7 8. From that, all of our measurements are taken for the cabinet parts. We spend a lot of time picking out the wood that we want to use for the job. We're looking for flat, straight, not cupped. We're looking for a uniform color. We're looking for uniform grain patterns. There's some soul searching that I have to do as a cabinet maker. Our livelihood is to build cabinets for people's homes. We don't want to build our cabinets with wood that is coming out of the rainforest. They're disappearing rapidly and we do not want to be a part of that. we feel a responsibility to be as green as possible, and we make them as durable as possible so they'll last as long as possible. A client has said to us, I want this fireplace cabinet, but the people who were here before said I couldn't have it. I need it 10 inches deep because this is gonna be 12 inches. I need the top to be 11. I need my cabinet to be 10 inches. Is that possible? And we just, you know, or a custom shop, we just said, yeah, no problem. She was so relieved and we kind of wondered why and apparently, you know, she got someone who, uh, who told her, no, no one will, no, that's impossible, it's gotta be 12 inches. Prefabricated cabinets are cabinets that are built, um, usually they're built in three inch increments, 12, 15, 18, 21. Somebody wants a set of cabinets in their house, then somebody will, from a prefabricated shop will come measure the walls and then put this puzzle together by using a series of different size cabinets. If they want a six foot cabinet, they may use uh, three two footers and put them all together to make the one six foot cabinet. Uh, the custom cabinet shop will make one cabinet.
We like to walk through the whole job with installers if we're not installing it. There's appliances that you know we've gone to great lengths to make sure fit. When we go in and we see our work done right, it's, it's kind of cool. You, you really kind of get uh, like a shot in the arm. You're like, oh yeah, look at, oh, look at how he did this. That's perfect. Oh, look at that. The reveal in the window is perfect. And so it's a good feeling for sure. My grandfather was a carpenter, and my father was also a carpenter. My two brothers were both cabinet makers, and my son. My name's Matthew O'Bannon. I'm a journeyman cabinet maker at Bay Custom Cabinets, and I've been building cabinets uh, with the family for 13 years. My name's Dan O'Bannon. I am a cabinet maker, and I've been building cabinets for approximately 45 years. So yeah, we come from a line of woodworkers. All right, there you go. Thanks, Good boss. job. You too. All right, we're doing it again tomorrow. Right early.